I argued with a woman last night. Can you hear me now? By James Lee the words started, as they usually do between us, with miscommunication. We agreed to do something together, but we didn't discuss how we were going to do it. I began to do it my way, and she began to do it her way. We ended up wasting time and being snarky to each other. I went and took a shower to get away from her for a bit, came back, and after a little while she started talking about how our biggest problem is communication. Again. Because we've talked about this many times. Many, many, many times. And so I yelled at her and told her to shut up and asked very loudly if I was being clear enough this time and never to bring up the subject again, so help me God, I will do you know what, she did shut up. So that was good. Bringing up a problem without providing a solution is just annoying. If you do it enough, then it's worse than annoying, it becomes destructive. Negative energy. It saps you. Constructive, thoughtful criticism is okay. Criticism without the constructive and thoughtful, I put up defenses, flight, and if you don't back off then I go on the offense, fight. Dot. On the other hand, I always feel bad after yelling at her. Really bad. Because I can count only once maybe twice that she lost her cool and yelled at me in the six or seven years we've been together. But it's not just that. The whole thing just becomes a habit. I have to end this bad habit by practicing a new, good habit. I end the quiet reconciliation period afterward, I remembered something. I thought about how, just a couple nights earlier, I listened to her really well. She had asked me a question, and I had answered it. Then, after answering her question, I realized what she really wanted to ask before she asked it, and I answered that question too. When I did this, she burst out laughing, and we shared a lot of positive, happy energy that I've heard and you've heard before that listening is the key to communication. Experience affirms this sooner or later for everyone. It reaffirmed it for me over these two nights. After mulling over what happened, I realized that woman and I frequently miscommunicate because we don't listen to each other with enough effort. As much as nine-tenths of communication is nonverbal, and I didn't look at her last night when we made our plans. The night before when I answered her question behind the question, I looked for that question because I glanced at her and saw she had another question, you know how people look when they aren't done asking questions. She was perched forward in her chair, and her eyes were bright. Her demeanor was very, so, I was thinking, maybe you could. Last night when we had our spat, we were sitting like zombies looking at our individual computer screens. Had I looked over at her or her screen, I would have realized much sooner we were doing different, and I'm sure we would have ended up laughing instead of arguing. So, I am resolving to listen to woman better. To communicate better. When she talks to me, I will stop typing or mouse clicking and put my hands in my lap. I will look at her or her screen, depending on where her attention is. I will be a good boy, and I will reread this post often to remind myself. And you should too, 